This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell Hey what's up sports to the bone family what's up what's up A blessed morning to you all Welcome back to another video It's a beautiful Wednesday morning And I just want to wish for you guys a productive day Alright so in this video We just have a couple of things we wanna talk about you know, I was looking at, looking at an article a few days ago and I saw where Sir Viv Richards was saying you know, he would have had some fun playing some T20 cricket. So I'm going gonna, gonna to talk to you about that article. We also see where the West Indies female bowling coach, Corey Collymore, you know, was saying that the, um, the, the frickle batting lineup, or well, the frickle batting performance of the females basically caught up on them so we're going to zoom in on that article also but before we go any further you know what the golden rule is guys hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed turn on the post notification bell and leave a like and leave your comment comment is very important all right so we're going to take a look at what sir viv richards had to say my viewers and subscribers now viv richards said that he would have had some fun playing t20 cricket right i i didn't see him play live so I, I, won't act, I won't pretend as if I am an expert as it relates to how good he was. I would have seen videos and I would have looked at his records. And I must say those records are extremely good. It's a reason why you have some person saying the man is probably the greatest to have done it. You understand? And they don't call him the master blaster for no reason. So based on all of these things that I have seen you know, and, I, and, I, and we have read, seems as if Viv Richards would have definitely been a man to... To really let it rip out there with the bat. You can almost say that he was ahead of his time. He was ahead of his time based on how he played. And you know, you could almost say probably would have been one of those dominant T20 players like a Chris Gale. You know, you see how dominant Chris Gale was at the highest level for a good, good period of time. Even in OD and T OD and Test cricket, Gale, you know, sort of very attacking. So just imagine somebody like a Viv in T20 cricket. You know, um, would have been good. Now, as I said, Vivo was having a little sit down. I think it was on his 70th birthday, which would have been a couple of days ago. As I said, this article was written was written a good little while now, you know, but uh, I just get a chance to look at it. Now, when he was asked to share his opinion about the T20 game, he's quoted as saying, and I quote, Well, let us put it this way. I most definitely would have had some fun. You understand? And he also said that test cricket, in his opinion, is the hardest form. And he would have played a lot of test cricket at the highest level. Did fairly well. So, T20 cricket, he would, you know, probably look at it as having some fun professionally. You understand? Well, let me give you the exact quote. He's saying T20, he would go out there and have some professional fun. That is what he's saying. I um, also spoke about a couple of past players saying that Joel Garner, and Sir Ian Botham would have definitely dominated also. Ian, um, Joel Garner, according to him, would have hit a whole lot of stumps. You understand? But it's very good to hear the Master Blaster speaking, you know, saying um, definitely would have had some professional fun out there. We, we would have seen where past greats, West Indian greats, would have come out and said, right now, T20 thing, they're not into it, they don't want to have anything to do with this. You understand, but um, Sir Viv Richards, you know, is somebody that embraced the thing, embraced the game. And based on how he played his cricket, we can definitely understand why he would he would he would be drawn to something like this. So yeah, my viewers and subscribers, um when the IPL auction uh was going on the other day, you know, some conversations were being had and I, I heard somebody saying that you know Sir Viv Richards if he was in this time, he probably would have broken all records as regards to the amount of money that they would have to pay to have it, to get his services. So I must say, you know, I I, I really I, I don't want to say that I, I am sorry that I came around this time, but it seems as if you know I really missed a lot of good cricket in the seventies and the eighties. And you know, to hear Sir Viv Richards talking about uh, the T20 game like this, it just seems as if he think, you know, he's thinking that he would have, he would have, he would have bossed it. You know, he said that Sir Ian Botham and Joel Garner would have, would have definitely dominated based on how they bowled. You know, he said that those guys were very, um, you know, full of, full of different uh, de de deliveries. And you know, their, their bowling sharpness and all of that. Spoke about Joel Garner's Yorker. 
see a lot of these guys these days trying to bowl yorkers and thing but you know they, they often time miss it but when it comes on to Joel Garner he's almost certain that a man like Big Bird would have definitely gotten a few yorkers in and would have rattled a couple of stumps so yeah that is that is basically what um Sir Viv Richards was saying as it relates to um being being playing T twenty cricket. How how many of you guys would have would have loved to see um Sir Viv Richards playing T twenty cricket? Let me know down in the comment section man. Don't just listen to the video and move on. And I know some of you guys probably were around when Viv was playing is is playing it back in the day. So um let me know if you would have wanted to see him in this sort of exciting um format or you, you, you are okay with what you would have done in in the in the other format so what are your thoughts on that because at the end of the day my viewers and subscribers it's always good to i mean sometimes we don't want to say that we are measuring up or we are comparing um players from different era because you know one will tell you that this player from this era probably couldn't have survived in that era while a next one probably would say you know the, the opposite so I, I am thinking that to see a couple of these guys playing, a um, couple of those past guys playing in this era, I, I probably would have enjoyed it. Somebody like a, 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 a Viv Richards, as I said, a Joel Garner, somebody like a, a Michael Holin, Andy Roberts. You know, the way I hear the guys talk about Andy Roberts, seems as if this man was a bowling genius when it comes on to coming up with plans and crafting how how to get batsmen out people like Malcolm Marshall and these guys you know it would have been really nice to see them in the T20 format the thing with the bowlers they would have adjusted and they would have adapt um you know they, they, they would have to adapt you know they were known to, to be very fast and furious a lot of body line bowling short ball but quality players quality players um adjust and get themselves in order based on the rule the rules of the game so you know those who are probably going to say those guys bowl a lot of sharp balls and there would be a lot of no balls in t20 cricket you know the guys would have definitely fitted themselves in 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 inside the rule and and, and do them thing you know but i <laughs> you know it's, it's really good to hear the the, the king Mr. Viv Richards talking like this. So yeah, let me know as I said guys what you think about that. Would Sir Viv Richards um, have dominated the, the IPL? As I said guys, just let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Alright, moving on quickly. So as we know the West Indies women, they lost their last game that they played um, the, 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 against Pakistan. It was a really interrupted game. You know, we didn't, we weren't able to, to get a, to, to put a good target on the board and Pakistan were able to, you know, start to get it. I think we, we put 89 on the board and they got it 92 and only lost about two or three wickets, I, I think it was. So, Corey Collymore was speaking and he was saying, you know, the, 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 the frickle button has finally caught up to us and, um, the, the, you know, it was always written in the stars that something like this would have happened somewhere throughout the tournament. Um, he's quoted as saying, uh, you know, definitely, definitely the game like Pakistan, a game like Pakistan was, was about to happen, w would have happened sometime through the tournament because, you know, we, we weren't consistent with the bat at all. Even when we, we were able to get the better of New Zealand in the first game, Haley Matthews um, got a solid century, you know, to basically put the score, but a couple of the other females, um, couple of the other players did not chip in with the bat same thing against who was it that we played next was it um england you know all the teams that we played we weren't able to really string together good performances with the bat you know it was saying that the inconsistency with the bat really hurt us and um you know the, the entire tournament according to him we have struggled with the bat and going forward that is something that they need to fix they need to get it sorted out you know um everybody need to pull their weight you know you have one or two players that are consistently making runs and the others just not chipping in so that can't work any at all you know and even before the tournament started on this channel here i heard a couple of persons saying that you know only deandra Dutton, stephanie taylor and matthews you can really look forward to as it relates to the batting but you know even even some of, and deandra Dutton, even some of those theme, um, players didn't really come to the party in some of the games so i tell you it, it is what it is my viewers and subscribers um pakistan is a game that we thought we would have won 
and you know we thought we would have won Pakistan and then Bangladesh and you know would have basically be comfortable but at the end of the day as they say cricket is cricket you can't play it off the field you play it on the field you can't play it on paper you understand so we just want to say to the girls just go out there play the next game and see how best they can they can perform out there we'll see where we go from there but yeah that is basically it for this one my viewers and subscribers we are at the end so we're not even going to enjoy it out anymore but once again guys i just want to say to you all i re really appreciate the love and the support you know we have crossed 8k subscribers as i indicated in a pre uh, in a previous video and it's all because of you you know because i made videos and put out you are the guys that you are the ones that watch it and subscribe and all of that so just continue supporting the things in eh? big up on yourself i'm out